Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel. We hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show top 5 amazing 2024 upcoming bikes first look review, and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. The Multistrada V4S Grand Tour has everything you need to explore the world with total control and the utmost freedom. Experience the ultimate pleasure of touring your way. Ducati officially introduced the newest member of the Multistrada family, the 2024 Multistrada V4S Grand Tour. With a name like that, an informed motorcyclist would probably expect it to be a vehicle packed with all kinds of the bells and whistles that serious touring riders want. Those riders would be right, as this bike comes with a lot of standard features that those who spend long amounts of time in the saddle tend to appreciate. The heart of the 2024 Multistrada V4S Grand Tour is, as ever, the 1,158 cubic centimeters V4 Gran Turismo engine. It makes a claimed 170 horsepower and 125 newton meters or approximately 92 pound feet of torque. Moreover, it was designed with the convenience of long-distance touring riders in mind in terms of maintenance intervals. Ducati recommends oil changes on this engine once every two years or 1,000 kilometers or 9,000 miles, and valve clearance checks once every 60,000 kilometers or 36,000 miles. The 2024 Multistrada V4S Grand Tour is equipped with four ride modes, Sport, Touring, Enduro, and Urban. Both Sport and Touring allow access to the full range of the V4 GT's power, while Enduro and Urban both dial it back to 84 kilowatts, or 112.6 horsepower to better accommodate those types of riding. Honda has submitted certification data in Switzerland for updated Africa twin models, with evidence of substantial changes in store for the Adventure Tour. The preliminary data is specifically for new Africa twin Adventure Sports models, with both a manual or dual-clutch transmission. The data is only partially complete, but what has been released indicates the Africa twin Adventure Sports is getting an updated engine and changes to its chassis. As of this writing, there is no data about updated versions of the non-adventure sports models, but we expect that will be available very soon. The certification filings list a new engine code, SD13E, for the manual Africa Twin Adventure Sports codenamed CRF1100A4 and the DCT version codenamed CRF1100D4. Since the 2020 model year when they changed from the previous 998 cubic centimeters engine to the current 1084 cubic centimeters displacement, the Africa twin models were certified with the engine code SD080. We can confirm the new engine will remain at the same 1084 cubic centimeters displacement, and that the peak horsepower output remains certified for the same 101 horsepower at 7500 rpm. But the torque output sees a jump from the current 77.4 foot-pounds at 6,250 rpm to 82.6 foot-pounds at 5,500 rpm. The engine isn't the only change coming. According to the certification data, the new model has a wheelbase of 1,570 millimeters. That's 5 millimeters, or 0.2 inches, shorter than the Africa Twins' current wheelbase. The global motorcycling community may have accidentally gotten a hint at pricing for the upcoming 2024 BMW R1300GS.
According to our European friends, the information briefly appeared in a BMW Financial Services drop-down menu on the US website. The menu option was quickly yanked down, and our own inspection of that site and drop-down menu shows that it's no longer visible as of the afternoon of August 14, 2023. If the information that motor ad screen capped is correct, U.S. pricing should be $19,590. Pricing for motorcycles by international OEMs is often not a direct conversion, so it's not yet clear what if anything that pricing might mean for other markets. A perusal of the same site on August 14, 2023, yields American market pricing information for the 2024 R1250G S Adventure as well as the 2024 R1250R, RS, and RT. The R1250GS Adventure will be $21,440. The R1250R will be $16,040. The R1250RS will be $16,690 and the R1250RT will be $20,690. It's not yet clear if there are plans for an R1300GS adventure immediately upon its unveiling at the end of September 2023. Nor how such an introduction might impact pricing of the R1250GS adventure when it becomes available. Still, if this screen cap is accurate, it makes sense considering the pricing information we've seen for existing models. At this point, nothing is official until BMW confirms it, but it's still an interesting potential glimpse into the future. At this point, we've seen plenty of spy shots of the upcoming R1300GS in what must be the final phases of testing. The Piaggio and Italian brand showed spoke wheels, the bike's name, and a picture of the Stelvio Mountain Pass to subtly tease the motorcycle. Since then, this has become a hot topic for enthusiasts, courtesy of repeated sightings of the Stelvio undergoing tests. Now, it seems the testing phase is finally over and the motorcycle is ready to break the internet. Why? Well, because images of the production spec V100 Stelvio have been leaked on the internet, that too, straight from Moto, Guzzi dealerships. As its name suggests, the Stelvio draws a lot of inspiration from the existing V100 Mandelo. So the new adventure bike flaunts the same Guzzi special design language, complete with a distinct LED headlight and tail lamp. However, there's no shortage of bespoke elements here. The Stelvio boasts a new edgy fender up top, flanked by muscular side panels that merge into the radiator shrouds. The tank looks different too, and interestingly, we can't spot Moto Guzzi's unique adaptive aerodynamic flaps here. Instead, the tank now has beefy indents, possibly to help lock the knees when standing up. At the opposite end, you now get a massive luggage plate in place of the Mandelo's sleek grab rails. This is partnered by a short, new exhaust with a dual-tone finish. Meanwhile, the overall ruggedness has increased, thanks to a tall, transparent windscreen, spoke wheels, and handguards, all missing on the existing ADV. Rounding off the design is a set of new color options. The leaked images reveal two of these. The first wraps the motorcycle in a striking orange-gray livery, while the second comprises a matte black and gray finish with neon green graphics. That's quite bold by Guzzi standards since all of its existing offerings have relatively simpler liveries. Another noteworthy change here is the ergonomics. The new spy shots give us a good look at the Stelvio's new seat and handlebar. 
The former is clearly slimmer and more aggressively shaped, while the latter appears wider and taller than the Mandelo's handlebar. Kawasaki has finally entered the entry-level motorcycle segment with two all-new EVs inspired by its popular sellers. As electric motorcycles gain more traction, it's only fair mainstream bike makers launch an attack on what is an otherwise startup-dominated industry. The first of the big names from Japan to do so is our very own Team Green, Kawasaki. The company has taken the wraps off its first full-sized electric motorcycles called the Ninja E1 and ZE1 for 2024. Both take heavy inspiration from the popular Ninja 400 and Z400 but bring an all-new electrifying flavor to the lineup. To jog your memory, we had already shed light on the key parameters of the duo in August via certification documents all of which are now official. If you've been daydreaming about a record-breaking, stupid fast EV from Kawasaki, this is your cue to look away. That's because the Ninja E1 and ZE1 cater to the entry-level segment, basically serving as an equivalent to 125 cubic centimeters IC bikes. Both hide and air-cooled, interior permanent magnet synchronous motor that promises a maximum output of 12 horsepower, 9 kilowatts, continuous output is 6 kilowatts, and 29 pound-feet. These numbers ensure a claimed top speed of about 62 miles per hour. But you can only sustain it for 15 seconds before it falls to 54 miles per hour. Why you ask? Well, because Kawasaki has debuted an e-boost feature. When triggered, the tech allows you to boost the top speed by a few miles, and it stays active for 15 seconds. It'd be more handy in the city though, as Team Green claims the e-boost also ensures a stronger acceleration. Hence, better overtaking abilities. Suzuki has launched the V-Strom 800D Rally Edition in France. Compared to the standard model, the Rally Edition comes with new components. That said, the Rally Edition is currently only offered in the international markets. The V-Strom 800D is positioned above the V-Strom 650 XT. It was just back in November 2022 that the V-Strom 800D was unveiled globally. What's new in the Suzuki V-Strom 800D Rally Edition? While the design of the bike is the same as the regular model, there are a few differences. One of these is the new guard around the front fairing and a one more guard for the engine casing. From the photos, it also appears to get a different belly pan as well. All these changes are made to ensure a better off-road ability of the motorcycle. In terms of hardware, the V-Strom 800D Rally Edition comes with a fully adjustable upside-down front forks front and a rear monoshock. The rear monoshock is adjustable for both preload and rebound. Braking duties are handled by 310mm dual discs at front and a single 260mm disc at the back. The brakes come with dual-channel ABS as well. The bike rides of 21-inch front and 17-inch rear spoke rims shod in Bridgestone AX41 off-road ready tires. Powertrain of the Suzuki V-Strom 800D Rally Edition The bike comes with the same 776 cubic centimeters parallel twin motor. This unit develops 84 bhp and 78 newton meters of peak torque. The rider can choose from three ride modes, and comes with Suzuki Intelligent Ride System. 
Apart from this the bike also gets ride-by-wire, quickshifter, low RPM assist and easy start. Suzuki Vstrom 800D Rally Edition launches in France. Our neighbors across the channel have a new options pack to add to the Suzuki Vstrom 800D. A new slightly higher spec Suzuki Vstrom 800D Adventure Motorcycle has been announced for the French market, as the rally edition of the new middleweight is launched. The updated machine comes less than a year after the bike was first announced during a glitzy do at EICMA in Milan. And while the new bike's basic specifications are the same as the stocker, it does benefit from a number of add-ons that should make it a more appealing off-road machine to the ardent enthusiast. First up are the graphics of the new V-Strum, which include new details on the tank cover and handguards of the bike. The front end of the bike is also protected with an accessory bar which also doubles as the front fog light hanger. More protection comes in the form of a sump guard to keep the oily bits in one piece should the bike encounter larger rocks or boulders. The final piece to the puzzle is the use of off-road bias Bridgestone AX41 hoops. A tire that is designed for slightly more gravel and mud riding than the Dunlop Trail Max Mixter items found on the stock bike. All in all, the Rally Edition kit comes in at €1,299 Euros or can be added on at purchase and fitted prior to collecting the bike. Opting for that option takes the price of the whole bike up from €11,499 to €12,999 according to Le Repair des Motors. Now, just because this pack is being bundled together by Suzuki France's marketing team, there isn't anything stopping UK riders from achieving just the same spec it's only the graphics that aren't listed on the UK accessory page for the midweight strum and the tires are easy enough to get after all.